Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my new video. In this video, we are going to see how to convert an integer value to a binary value. For that, we need to use pen and paper first to understand how it is done. Let us take an example of 24. So 24, we always do binary like divisions with 24 with 2 and get the reminder and we need to store this reminder. And at last, the whatever the reminder values we have stored, we should be displaying from bottom to top. So down to bottom so we need that for this we will be using for loop two for loops to display the value from bottom to top and also a one for loop to store the values from bottom to top so that's what we require so without wasting time let's check the things on the screen so for first thing what we require is we require a number basically it should be between 0 to 255 between these values so we'll take eight digit binary code so we'll also check the arrays how we need to store the values in an arrays so array we don't have separate time we need to initialize as an integer and basically we need to give it binary and in between a brackets we need to specify how many digit of binary value we are going to store and we'll just take the values as, a, as usual using scanf now the logic comes like what we need to do here is uh, we need to first check whether the, va the value entered is in between 0 to 255 or not if it is in between 2 0 to 255 then we need to perform the logic or else we will tell that you have please enter a value between 0 to 255 that's what we will be writing it out so once it is done this is the logic uh, in my previous videos i have told you to implement this kind of logics so this is how you need to implement if else look now you need to write the first you need to tell the binary conversion for the value which is whichever they have entered is so for that we need to write a logic here as i told you we need to store the values from bottom to top so i have taken initialize the i value from 7 okay which is the highest value 7 then 6 then 5 then 4 then 3 then 2 then 1 then 0 okay everything will be eight digits so that's what it is and here i should value should be greater means seven is more than zero so last value is zero so it should be more than or equal to zero and i'll be decrementing the value okay so and then we will write a logic like we need the reminder values which is modulo in my first video i have told you operations by addition arithmetic operation so this is an arithmetic operation so we i'll store it in a binary seven seven value so i is seven so i'll it will be stored in seven and then i'll be dividing it by two and i'll be updating the a values so it will perform the logic and then it will store all the values in the binary okay then i'll print the values using i equal to zero i should be less than or equal to seven and then i am printing the values so here i've made one mistake like i have used comma after integer declaring the integer so I'll just i'll keep it as semicolon so once it is done then i'll run the value then i'll check for the value of 30 now let us check in the chat gpt so it says yes it's the value is correct so you can check uh, the numbers using different numbers hope you have liked this video it's a very simple code it's less than 20 lines of code you have so thank you for watching this video